Hey, welcome back. Uh, I have a lot of videos in the pipe that are going to be coming out over the next couple weeks. Uh, I am studying for my VMware VCP6 data center virtualization. So between work and uh, spending time with the family and study and cranking out the videos, we are staying busy. Plus, I'm still doing some side consulting. I just wanted to give you a little bit of update. Um, as of the filming of this video, 488 subscribers. So it looks like we're 12 away. We'll probably hit it this weekend, be giving away that IP camera. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to load up the names of all of the subscribers and we're going to do a random giveaway. So no matter where you're at in the world, if you win it, I will ship it to you. That is, that is my promise. So... I have a lot of requests for videos. Those are also in the queue. Please hang in there. I'm, I'm getting the videos out as quickly as I can. So, but real quick, I had started a series on the Edge Max OS 1.8.5, and I just want to do, I'm going to, I want to start the series, and I'm going to just do a quick video here. And I want to talk to you about the new wizards that have been added. So, if you've got your edge router with 1.8.5 go ahead and log in and head over here to the wizards tab so the load balancing setup wizards are the pretty much the same in fact they are the same as 1.8.0 and then the feature wizards um, the universal plug and play and the TCP MSS clamping those were there, but these two are new, the DNS host names and the VPN status. And you can also add features. And I, for some reason, I'm thinking that came out in 1.8. Maybe it didn't. Maybe it came out in the 1.8.5 beta. Can't, I can't quite recall. I haven't added any features yet, but we will, we will look at how we do that. So if you do want to add a new feature, you click the plus and it's upload a new feature wizard you name it and then you upload the wizard file so I will do a video on that but real quick I just want to highlight these two new wizards that are coming stock the first one is the DNS host name so if you click on that you can see the DNS host names configuration comes up and you can do static host names here are the dynamic host names so if we expand this you'll see that how family at a pool LAN 2 and here's the IP but we can also add a static host name so let's see how that works now if we take a look at my IP config what's my default domain that we're handing out here may not be handing one out at all Ethernet nope doesn't look like we're handing out handing that out so let's uh, just ping unify nothing doesn't respond could not find host unify so let's see if we can fix that using this wizard so enter a unique host name this field is mandatory for example first name well we're gonna call it unify then what in uh, you can add other aliases enter one or more alias names separated by a comma this field is optional for example second name third name so you need a host name, but you don't necessarily need multiple aliases. If you've ever edited a host file, you can do this in a host file. So you can have one IP address mapped to however many names. I don't know if there's a limit on that or not. I usually, if I'm going in, I usually do, uh, let's say I'm doing the howx5.com. So I would do IP, ad or, yeah, IP address and then howx5.com. And then I would put a space and I would do www.howx5.com. So over here, this is where we're going to put our IP for Unify. So let's apply that. And it's applying. It's doing a good job, it looks like. Ah, successful. All right, so real quick. Let's uh, just flush this, just in case. Could not find the host unifier. Why not? 
What did we do wrong? We're applying it. What's the deal? Should be uh, should be responding. Hmm. But the question is, is that pulling it from this edge router? Or is this edge router, what's our DNS set up on this guy? 4.2.2, 8.8.8. So it looks like it did pull it from, from the edge router. Makes me wonder though why it didn't pull the single name. Interesting. Let's add another one and see. Oh, I wonder what I'm wondering now that I say that I wonder I wonder I wonder if we need to put a domain name in here I mean you're you're seeing this as I'm trying to figure it out so I've not you know I saw the wizards in there and I wanted to get this started so let's go back here and add this top dog and we'll just put it to the same IP. We'll apply this. Flush of DNS. All right, let's see. Can we ping top dog? Can not ping top dog by name, but let's see. Top dog. X5.com. And you know what? I'm wondering if the reason we can't ping top dog by name is because it's looking for a default domain through the DHCP. So we'll try this. Let's ping this. Let's ping. Uh, let's flush this. Let's ping top dog x 5com Okay, so yes, it is working with the full name. But now I'm wondering if the reason... You know if it's tr if it's trying to search for a default uh, domain name so let's do this real quick let's go over to our services and let's go to our DHCP server and view the details all right domain let's put in how x5 for the domain and we're just gonna hit renew so it'll pick up any new settings okay so now let's see okay so DNS suffix search list how x5.com so, so now let's see what happens ping top dog so it's we're automatically appending the domain suffix so not sure why the I'm not sure why I can't just ping it by this I, I'm wondering because here it just says first name enter a unique host name right and down here you know it just shows you know how family which is this computer so what I'm wondering I'm wondering why it's not not doing it just by host name but anyway if we pen the if we append the the domain it works because it just it throws the howx5.com on there because that's the order that the machine's going to search it but now now what i'm wondering is if we take this alias out and we apply this and we come over here Okay, it's applied, so what happens if we ping unify now? And now it's working. So it must be looking for that, it must be looking for the, the uh, domain to be in there. So that's pretty cool. You can use this to do, you know, some light DNS 
configuration. Obviously, you're only getting basically A records here. Uh, it's probably, if I had to guess, manipulating the the hosts. Uh, I don't know. Let's check that out real quick. And just see. So that's exactly what it's doing. It's just manipulating the host file. So this is kind of what I was talking about earlier. So you can see, you know, 192.166.10 unify. So it's still pretty nifty. So basically all you're getting is A records here. So you can't, you can't really do anything advanced. This is just literally mapping a name to an IP. So it's very, very basic, but very, very, very effective. So you could, if you didn't use the DHCP option, to set your Unify controller, you you could have one here called Unify and have that default domain handed out, and then any device, any Unify device that you plug in is going to see that. So that is the DNS host names wizard. The next wizard is pretty simple, and I'll have to come back and do, <coughs> excuse me, I'll have to come back and do a, a video on this later, and maybe this might be um, a good collaboration with, with someone else but they have the VPN status list. So if you've got any site-to-site -site VPNs, now instead of going in through the CLI, you've got this VPN status right here. You can view the, the status of the tunnels right here. So this is pretty nifty. So if you like the video, please give a thumbs up. Please comment, please share, please subscribe. And come back for part two of Edge Max OS version 1.8.5.